hello everyone and welcome back to another video today i'm finally making an immunotherapy update because i haven't made one in over four months and i actually have some exciting updates and news about immunotherapy to share with you all I started immunotherapy on august 2nd 2018 so i'm officially over six months on immunotherapy now i think i'm pretty much exactly six and a half months before i get into all the updates and side effects i just want to do a little bit of a disclaimer that i'm not a doctor i'm not a medical professional i'm just sharing my own experiences with getting allergy shots if you're thinking about starting immunotherapy definitely go to an allergy clinic and talk to a doctor there about it if you live in the bay area and you want to go to the same clinic that i go to i'll put all the information about my clinic and doctor and everything down in the description below there are some slight issues that i have with the clinic that i go to but none of those issues have to do with the actual medical treatment itself i think that they really know what they're doing when it comes to this sort of thing at all of the pamp clinics so now that that's out of the way i guess i'll get into the updates and everything i got some pretty exciting news when i got my last shot on thursday i found out that i only have four more shots until i'm at the highest dose of the highest concentration so that's really exciting because then after i reach that dose i'll only have to go every two weeks and then every month and then eventually i'll hopefully be completely cured so i booked those last four appointments and the last one is actually on the day that assembly member evan lowe is coming to the district 9 leadership group for those of you that don't know I live in District 9 in San Jose. For those of you that have been watching my videos over the last year or so, you'll probably know that Assembly Member Low is pretty much the main reason why I'm on immunotherapy right now. He really helped me to keep going and fight to get on immunotherapy. So I'm gonna get to thank him in person on the day that I reach the highest dose of the highest concentration. So that's the good and exciting news. Now I'm gonna talk about the side effects, which have honestly been really bad recently. Since I'm getting pretty close to the highest possible dose, I am getting a pretty significant amount of substances that I'm allergic to injected into my body so it has really been affecting me a lot in some of my earlier videos about immunotherapy i said that the shots didn't hurt but they actually do really hurt now not to the point where i don't want to do it anymore but it hurts pretty badly when i'm getting the shot and it keeps hurting for about a day or two after this past time i went both my arms got pretty swollen as well so that wasn't fun my throat has also been getting really sore and my eyes have been really really itchy so i've been using these eye drops a lot to help with that and i've been drinking a lot of hot tea to help with my sore throat and i've also been coughing and sneezing a lot more so i've been trying to take sertrazine every day to help with that and i also keep a liquid version of this in my backpack just in case i need a little bit more while i'm at school or work or while i'm out and then i've also been taking flonase pretty regularly and that has helped quite a bit so i've been trying to take all of the medicines that my doctor wants me to take more regularly to help with all of my allergy symptoms there's not really that much that i can do about the sore throat and it's kind of been getting annoying because i've talked to people at work and school and i've been going to a lot of community meetings but by far the worst side effect that i've been experiencing recently has been my hands if you watch one of my older videos you know that i initially wanted to pursue immunotherapy and allergy treatment in general because i had a really bad allergic reaction on my hands and that has unfortunately come back I'll show you all a close-up of what it looks like right now so if you don't want to see that skip ahead this is what my fingers are looking like right now it's been pretty bad especially on my right side but my left hand is not doing that well either usually it starts to get bad like this on friday and saturday i get my shots on thursday by the way and then it kind of calms down throughout the week but i've been using the steroid cream that my doctor prescribed to try to help with it it works pretty well but i do have to apply it throughout the day or use band-aids i don't have this on right now but i usually put it on at night and in the morning and then i just put these fabric band-aids over it so that it doesn't rub off everywhere because this stuff is pretty expensive it's 75 dollars even with insurance and i can't get refills on this so every time i run out i have to go see my doctor and get a new prescription which is really annoying obviously it hurts to have sores like this on my hands but what's even more annoying is that people comment on it all the time i know it's just because they care about me or they're just curious but it's annoying to explain why my hands look like this or why i have band-aids on most of my fingers 10 to 15 times a day but i know that this is just temporary i will hopefully be completely cured of my allergies soon it's not really allergy season yet so i can't really tell how well the immunotherapy has been working and i'm only six and a half months in but hopefully this will all be worth it in the end i know that i just complained for pretty much this entire video but i just want you all to know that i'm really glad that i'm on immunotherapy and i'm so thankful for everyone that helped me to be able to choose my own insurance so that i could get on immunotherapy before it started raining a lot in san jose i was going out in nature a lot and my symptoms weren't as bad as they usually are if i touched something that i was allergic to i would react to it but just walking in nature didn't really bother me as much as it used to normally my eyes would get really watery and i would be sneezing a lot but i didn't really experience that when i was going on the trail but it also wasn't really allergy season during that time so i guess i'll just have to wait a few more months to see if immunotherapy has has really helped me or not but i'm feeling pretty positive and even if this doesn't work out for me i'm still really glad that i gave it a try i found out about immunotherapy even before i was diagnosed with allergies and i've always been interested in trying it but when i was under 18 i couldn't just start immunotherapy on my own i would have needed both of my parents to agree on it and sign my consent forms but in june of last year i finally had the opportunity to start the process and get on immunotherapy so i decided to take it and now i just have to keep up with my shots and wait and see what happens so i think those are all the updates that i have for now if you have any questions about 
immunotherapy feel free to comment down below or dm me i'm more than happy to answer any questions that you have thank you all so much for watching this video stay awesome and i'll see all of you very soon with a new video goodbye